Hi everybody, this is Eric from Switched, and today we're going to be adapting the Fisher Price Smooth Move Sloth. Now this is another pretty easy toy to adapt. Uh, the only tricky part is that we have to solder directly to the circuit board, but we'll show you how we did it. So we're going to start by turning the toy upside down and removing the seven screws that hold this bottom plate in place. Once those screws are removed, you can go ahead and remove the bottom plate and most likely the buttons will fall out as well, but you can just set those aside because we won't be needing those right now. Now these wires are kind of held with a little bit of glue here. You can just go ahead and kind of pry that up. That will give us a little more room to work with. And we need to remove this wire harness from the circuit board. So now we're going to drill a hole for our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. A good place to do that is right here on the hip. And you'll just want to take a peek inside just to make sure you're not going to hit anything. Um, but this is a good place that keeps the wires up and out of the way. And we're going to drill two holes, one for each button, because we're going to have two headphone jacks controlling each button. And once you get your holes drilled, go ahead and fish both of your um, headphone jacks through, and we're going to secure them with a zip tie. The zip tie is there just to make sure that you know, the cord doesn't get pulled out if a kid were to play with it and yank on the cord. They don't accidentally pull out our connections. Now's a good time to test both headphone jacks and make sure they're secure. And you can go ahead and cut off any extra zip tie. So we're going to solder our wires to these two discs here. Now these discs have two sides and we have to solder each wire to one side of each disc. And when we solder our wires we need to make sure that our wires or our solder don't accidentally cross over to the other side of the discs or else the toy will constantly go off. So it's a little tricky to solder, but we'll show you how we did it. So the first thing that we did was apply a little solder to each wire. And that's the solder we're going to actually heat up to then stick to the circuit board. This makes it a lot easier when we're trying to solder. Instead of trying to get just a little bit of solder on that board, we're just going to heat up what's on the wire and then stick that to the board. Again, we need to make sure that we don't get any solder or the wires don't cross over to the other half of that disc or else the toy will constantly go off. We're going to repeat this process for the other disc. We're going to apply a little solder to each wire and then we're going to use that solder on the wire to apply it to the disc. Once everything is secure, we need to reattach our uh, the wire harness. That way we can test the toy and make sure that everything works. Make sure that we test both headphone jacks. And if everything works well, we can go ahead and reinsert the two buttons. And we can go ahead and reinsert the bottom plate and reinstall all seven screws. Once all those screws are in, you are done. Switched Adapted Toys, making play possible. For more how-to videos, sign up for free at our website at www.switchedtoys.org. That was...